Gareth Wheeler and Terry Dunfield with you. This is your Toronto FC match preview as FC Dallas comes in for another Friday night fixture at BMO Field. Terry, it's going to be a big night for Toronto FC as well as Canadian midfielder Jonathan Azorio about to play match number 150 in regular season play. Quite the accomplishment thinking how far Oso has come within the team setup. Very much so. It's been so fun watching him develop. I was actually there the first time he sat on the bench in Vancouver back in 2000. 2013. He was actually a little bit disappointed that he didn't play. He got dropped at the last minute. But I remember putting my arm over his shoulder and saying, listen, Azorio, don't be too fussed by this. Look, you're the future of Toronto FC. Now, five years later, he's one of the first names on the team sheet. Absolutely. He's become a complete midfielder, hasn't he? He has goals. He has assists in him. He does a defensive duty like we saw last week against Orlando. Dropped a little bit deeper at times and did a job for Greg Vanny. Yeah, good point. He's shown a real versatility to his game. He can play in a midfield three. He can play out wide. And the biggest difference this year is I think he's added goals to his game. He's taking chances. He's getting forward. And he also has the technique to, to back up when he gets into those good positions to execute and score. With Azorio and Toronto FC, I mean, it was a big week last week. Ten points in ten games now for TFC. Coming off that 2-1 victory over Orlando City. It's one of those that I look at to be maybe a turning point for this team. But what's interesting, Terry, we saw the team play two distinct ways in that matchup. They started off with a 4-4-2 with Vasquez playing right in behind Jordan Hamilton and really finding a lot of success in the latter stages, bringing those two wide defenders forward, playing three center backs. How do you think Greg Vanny lines up to play FC Dallas this week? Yeah, that's a good spot. I, I think it's now, for, for the first team, it's season starts now, and, and can TFC build on that Orlando win? And I think the fact that they can sort of morph into different systems and gives oppositions different looks is important. Yep. I, I think playing with Telfer a little bit higher in a 4-4-2, suits him. I thought he was excellent against Orlando. I'm looking for him to now kick on a little bit, but I, I think it's also about fitting pieces in and fitting players in, and I, I think you need Vanderweel in the team somehow, and playing with a back four that keeps him in the side, but also switching to a, a back three allows you to press teams a little bit higher, as we saw TFC late on, and Ricketts, I thought he came on and made a big, big difference. Yeah, I really liked how Oro and Telfer, two fullbacks, got combined for the match-winning goal, so the level of them predictability really works in Toronto FC's favor. You watched FC Dallas last week, gave up two late goals in a 2-2 draw to the Vancouver Whitecaps. They're on 17 points, fourth place in the Western Conference. Where does the threat come from in this FC Dallas team? I think it comes to Diaz in the middle of the park. I think he's one of the best number 10s in the league. He's got the ability to drop his shoulder, go past someone. He can see a pass. He's got a nice surrounding cast in, in and around him. And Yurudi up top, he doesn't need any opportunities to score. He had a short spell with Toronto. Toronto FC a few years ago. Lamar on the left-hand side gives you a little bit of pace and power. But the driving force behind this team's in the middle of the park. Grazo, one of the most underrated mid midfielders. Acosta, he came off at halftime. Hayes came on from him. So they're very strong in the middle of the park. Where TFC might look to expose them is just on that left-hand side of the defense. They've got some new personnel that haven't quite bedded down there. I like the right back as well, Cannon, who scored on the day too. They've only conceded 11 goals on the season, so it's going to be a big test for Toronto FC. We with Clint Irwin set to deputize as the number one goalkeeper with Alex Bono away and Sebastian Javinko back in the Toronto FC team. It all gets underway 8 p.m. at BMO Field on Friday night. Hope to see you down there. If we don't, you can watch on TSN. Listen on TSN 1050.